Chase bought a bunch of stuff and uh, we'd never seen it before. We came in this morning, me and Al Pal behind the camera. And uh, there's just, look at this. There's so much stuff. They, they went to a game convention like last weekend and they, I mean, this looked like SNES, a bunch of SNES stuff. We just bought like a hundred million like different SNES titles and we have even more now. Uh, this is just insane. What do you expect? It's Chase. I mean, right, Al Pal? He just, he buys right. everything. You just get a good deal, you buy it, you know? Um, I'm super excited to go through this. I don't know you, about you, Al Pal. Oh, yeah. Um, but we better get going. Uh, what do we need to do? Organize it? Uh, yeah, put we it need to shelves? figure out what we're doing to sell it. <laughs> do you uh, have a game plan? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, I can share. Here, let, can share. let's hear it. Let's hear it. All right. So, well, let me show you what we have. So this stuff was from a previous collection. So what I want to do is because we have a big auction, like an eight, eight hour auction coming up on Friday. So if you guys don't know, this is now our big show shelf over there, the black shelves. That's going to be our big show um, area. So I want to take all this and put that over for the big show and then take all that SNES, new SNES stuff and put it over here and maybe some miscellaneous stuff to try to see. Yeah, kind of be able to digest it a little with. bit better. And, and then as we're unpacking it, we can try to decide what needs to go where. Um, I mean, all SNES stuff will be whatnot, uh, but there's a, a lot of miscellaneous stuff that we can decide if it's whatnot or Amazon, whatever. And the fun um, part about this is we have no idea what Chase got. So we can no, kind of, it's kind it, of an Easter egg like, for us. Yeah, picking yeah. through it. Yep. Picking through it. Come with us. Thanks to XYAB, the sponsor of this channel. They're a business to business video game accessory supplier. We love them and use them frequently in our business. So like when you got a Wii remote without a battery cover, go to XYAB, you can get your battery covers. When you got a Wii without the doors, you can go there and get the doors. And the, the thing about it is they have just about everything you could think of and need to maximize your video game sales. That's what a lot of this stuff is here. And they're like the best quality, the cheapest price and the fastest shipping. Where else can you say those three things all in one? So if you're selling video games and you're interested, ever since I found out about them, I was pretty upset that I didn't know about them much sooner because I would just go on eBay and order these things randomly and sporadic shipping from China, take a couple months or whatever. But XYEB, you're getting next, next day shipping with the best quality stuff and you know they're gonna have what you need at the right price, jumper packs, so much more. You can use the link in the description for $50 off your first order of 100 bucks or more, go do it. All right, so to give a little context to this collection that we are kind of uh, taking and putting over there, this is the collection of NES and SNES of that guy that, uh, of the collection that was almost thrown away in a video a couple couple videos back. Um, and it's actually gone pretty well. I, the last time I talked to Chase, he said we were like right around breaking even or right at breaking even. So um, all of this stuff is gonna be pure profit, which is awesome. And uh, we, we made a decision and um, when we first got this collection to keep the box and the, the, uh, the cartridges separate on, this, on these shelves so that we can easily pull them for auctions. Uh, but now we're kind of wanting to consolidate them because we just have so many items thanks to uh, the convention that we just went to. So we are now putting the boxes and the cartridges together again to put them back over there, um, which is, you know, does it make, did it make sense that we did it originally? Probably, because look at there's so much stuff that we sold and it was really quick and it's fun to... Well, you're missing, oh, no. you're missing one important detail. Yeah, go, go for it. Um, here, I'll let you, I'll let you. So what he missed is that, so we didn't take everything out of these boxes to do it like this. We had to pair each cartridge, manual and box because they were all separated. So instead of putting them all back in their boxes, just to take them back out again and we had the space, that's why we did this, but now we no longer have the space. So we're going to put them all back in the boxes and put them over there. So we didn't like just take everything out, but it was like a three day process of pairing each cartridge, manual and box. Um, obviously it was still worth it because the stuff is amazing. Um, but yeah, that's that's why they're like this. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I appreciate that uh, correction, Al Pal. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're all done with that. Um, look at all these guys. These guys are sealed, which is really cool. Oh, Killer, In Killer Instinct and Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. My son loves Thomas. And, uh, Does he? Maybe I should just take this home. What do you think? Open it up? 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, well, we're gonna put these over here, um, and after I uh, put these on the shelf, we're gonna dive into all these SNES games and put them on the shelf that we just took all those guys off of, so. Perfect. Let's dive into SNES. All right, well, um, rather than just dive on in, we should probably have some type of game plan, right? Brother Dave? Okay. Um, so for the SNES games that we're gonna be putting on the shelf, Let's like have all the, make sure all the titles are showing. So if things are going really well on Friday, we can pull from that shelf. Um, like if they're really high end games and the high end games are going well, we can pull on that shelf so we can continue to keep things running and, and get those sales. Instead high. of having them kind of like hidden behind a layer. Yeah, I was thinking of games. probably just like saving room to double stack them, but I don't think let's, let's not do that so we can see all the titles so okay. they can be pulled easily yeah, on I can Friday. Do uh, all these toys and action figures and stuff, we plan on running those on Whatnot this week. And since our new Whatnot station is upstairs, we could probably just take all those bins right upstairs to be ready to run um, sometime this week. I don't know when exactly. And then all these. We have a local connection. We made a big deal on all these disc onlys. A lot of them are like GameCube. Ooh, look at that. Dude. Hey, look at that, huh? this is Metro wow, Prime. I, didn't, I was actually looking for one before this. Oh, really? This. And there it that's is. That's crazy that I grabbed that one. Can I have it? I'll add that to my Thomas. There you go. The yeah, train. There you yeah. go. Um, but actually, there there are a lot of duplicates in here. Like, I think we have like 10, like Mario Sunshines, for instance. I think what we're going to do, and we were talking to Chase a little bit, is putting them in, in Buy It Now's on Whatnot. Because it's quantity listings are great on Buy It Now. It, it's a lot less time conducive than listing a bunch of individual items. So I think what we're going to do is clear this table and then make stacks of all the duplicates. Yeah, and we got couple more bins yeah we too. got a couple more bins over there over there and then so we know what's individual that we should just run as auctions and what's duplicates that we can list for friday as buy it now yeah and i was also extremely ignorant um i just talked to we just talked to chase and uh apparently this is not all from the conventions it's just all from the weekend that they went to the conventions in milwaukee so sorry about that but right yeah every uh, everything you see in this stack here is all from a collection buy of one person. Collection, a little bit of convention, but mostly con collection. Mostly, Makes mostly a lot more individual sense deals. Because, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Um, we realized very quickly that we are going to run out of room. So we're going to have to start putting them sideways and just keep the t the better titles in front. Yeah, and look, look so we, we have all of these still. Yeah, so, of these. so many. But there's so many crazy games. Um, yeah. There's like Chrono Trigger. Hockey and Rocky 2, which is like a thousand dollar game. Yeah. This, which that, I didn't know existed didn't until know like a existed. week ago, I saw it and I'm like, what is this crazy thing? White box Genesis. That is sealed. Got an eight, eight point five. So yeah. I don't know. I feel like Chase should keep this, but it's his collection. So that's really cool. Um, what I see. This guy, man, th like I'm a super big Metroid fan. For those that don't know, that's a super clean box that's of that. That's really cool. So cool. You got Love this. seeing that. Which, if you don't know, I just recently started collecting Lord yeah. of the Rings games, so I made that's a clean box. I too. made buy that off a of chase. I yeah. don't know. Oh, yeah, right. And then you got this. We didn't even know this existed. It's Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. See, so I was I, really I think confused. I've seen this as a cartridge, but I've never seen it in box. When they had two balls in his hands, and I looked in the back, and it's like a like a side scroller kind of a yeah, game. Yeah, like, like you got bosses. You to can fight actually like slam dunk on the like random parts of the level, and there yeah, there's. I think you can throw basketballs at people. Yeah. Like, I want to play that so bad. Yeah, that that looks crazy. Um, but, man, so many yeah, amazing titles. Yeah, you got, like, titles. Search for Eden. Sunset Rider. Super RPG. Yeah, RPG. Like, so many fun games. Yeah, like fun Final games. Fantasy 3. Fire Dogs is a big bolo, so is Mr. Nuts. It's crazy how many Complaining Box NES games we have right now. Oh, and absolutely insane. I got to show what I was doing earlier oh, before oh, I helped you, Brother Dave. So sorry. So all the stacks you see here... Are duplicates. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Anybody want Sonic Heroes? Because yeah, we, we got a lot. lot. We have a lot of them. So. And Resident Evil. That's two stacks of Resident Evil. Yeah, over there we have like a ton of Smash Bros. My goodness gracious. Yeah. So we have a lot of GameCube. So if you guys are looking for GameCube, come uh, hang out with us on Whatnot. We're going to list all. Most of this is buy it now, especially the big quantities. Uh, for good prices, so if you're looking for GameCube to play, come to our Whatnots. Um, let alone 
everything we have to run and whatnot. <laughs> we have so many games, man. So many games. So we're we're for sure gonna do four to five days a week on whatnot for the foreseeable future. Yeah, we just we just have so many games. I uh, have all those boxes I need to take upstairs to yeah, the, the whatnot station. That's out whatnot this week. And this is still the rest of the stuff that they got. Hey, look at I didn't need. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I've never seen that thing before. What is that? We should just keep it because it's a monstrosity to sell. It's like 40 inches long. We should just like get, we should just get a hook for it, like hooks for it and mount it on the wall. Yeah, that would be Let fun. us know if we should do that in the comments. Um, We already know the answer. The answer is yeah. yeah you're right. So just We're say, just say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the next day and Al Pal, you have displayed all of these guys very beautifully and wonderfully. Not the original plan, but that's okay. You got to, uh, you know, change things up. Look at this. Do you know we have three of these right now? We do. In the barn? Yep. That's just cool. I mean, can we keep it? Make it three? As, uh, I guess it's not your choice. Yeah, well. We can yeah. ask Chase. It was my choice. I would say no. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> just kidding. You also did all of these yes. other disc only. So That's... a PS1, PS2, Xbox. Yeah, they're all sorted into like if the, their stacks or quantities. Ooh, it's a Wii U. So, as like, well. we have like a ton of Sonic Heroes. Breath of the Wild. Resident for Wii U. Ooh, that's Breath fun. of the Wild. Yeah, Mario Party. Ooh, Pikmin 3. Ooh. Good one. Good one. Good one. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Spyro. Yeah, like that's tons that's of cool fun. stuff. It's a good time. Yeah. And then uh, I actually had to leave yesterday because I went and saw the eclipse with my family. It was beautiful. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, it, was, it was a 97% eclipse where we are, Alex. It's, oh, it was, really? It was sad. That's why nothing really happened. It was the. The sun's just so bright, even at 97%. But I did get all this stuff up here. We have so much stuff to whatnot. Oh my gosh. Like, we have some really cool things too. Like, look at this Bowser guy. That's fun. That's really cool. And peaches, peaches. Well, look out. We uh, should keep this. Look at it. It's a little Mario. Like, it speeds around the, the track. <sighs> that would be good. Little time. Jeremiah. I said he would love that. <laughs> And then you got Ganondorf for the new Breath of the Wild. Probably one of my favorite characters for Smash Bros. Ganondorf's really fun. But it has so many toys. We really need to get to a whatnot today, Alex. When, when we is are. It? Are we doing a whatnot today? We're doing one at noon. Okay, we need to. Um, we certainly cool. need to. Well, then we'll tell you everything that happened after the whatnot. All right, so we're done with the whatnot. We're going to give you a little recap. Uh, we did like 4,400 in sales, which is pretty good. Um, this stuff, the good thing is our buy cost was really low. Um, so if we were to sell these like on eBay or something, we would definitely have gotten a lot more. Um, but we have an influx of inventory, so we just wanted to move it really fast. The reason it didn't go really well is because we're video game sellers and our audience was there for video games. And we did sell a good, we probably sold like 40 or so SNES games, like this one. Bolo, actually, I think this is like $140. Huh. But you would never guess because no. most, most sports games are not. Yeah. But fun fact on a whatnot, a week and a half ago, I ran a game at 10 seconds sudden death, and it ended up being a $150 game. Luckily, the audience had my back and only went for like 140 <laughs> bucks. But I was like, what just happened? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think I think we're happy overall. I mean, a lot of this stuff, you know, like it, this is like 25 bucks, might have gone for 12. Yeah. There's stuff that went for 40 bucks that would have gone for 10. And like I said, if we wanted to wait six months and sell all this we would have got a lot more money yeah but with our buy costs being so low we still made money now it's all going to get out tomorrow um which is nice and we have we have so much to go yeah, through so right much now. to go through so we're, we're totally happy with just moving this stuff fast and we know we have resellers that follow us as well so one guy in particular buys a lot of our stuff on good deals i think he bought 19 lots of stuff Wow. So he's probably going to have a couple large boxes that we have to send him. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we love being, you know, the middleman for other resellers as well. Yeah. So do you think that like we could do stuff with like we do intros, you know, for our shows? Like, yeah. should we have maybe done an intro and showed a bunch of toys that are kind of coming along with the games? Or like, how do you I, think we could kind of improve on what I think that, that would have helped a little bit. I think yeah. for the title, all we did was put box games and toys. Okay. So I think if we did like a trailer, so everyone knew it was coming up, um, I think that would have helped our audience a little bit. But then again, like still, most of the people that follow us and know that we're running aren't going to be big buyers of this stuff. But I think that definitely would have helped if we made a trailer, a thumbnail with all the toys. Yeah, for certain. While Al Pal was doing uh, the whatnot with Sky Guy and Chase, I was testing all of these GameCube games. And 
Look at all those guys. You tested all these? All these. Um, so, so a lot of them, um, so the GameCube games are weird. All of these games were, were already surfaced, or how would you say that? They were cleaned and surfaced. Clean. Clean, they yeah. were cleaned. Resurfaced. Um, bef resurfaced. Yes. B b thank you, Chase. Before uh, we bought them, but GameCube games are so weird. You still gotta look at them. There's like a, a, a warp that I have um, just learned about from Chase. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's like on the sides here, there's just a very like, I don't even know. It's you just kind of see it. It's tough to see on camera. There it is. Uh, you can kind of see it. Yeah. It's hard to see. Much easier to see in real life. But um, it's just when the the game is a little too. I don't know what you call it. How do you explain that, Sky Guy? I don't even know how to explain it. It's just too too surfaced. It, it's just, resurfaced. It's just too resurfaced. Too, too resurfaced. resurfaced. You have to be careful with GameCube games. So they're fragile discs. So yeah. So we're too deep in the cleaning then. Yeah, we're can't always... go too deep, and so it's I I went through all these and made sure that it wasn't too deep, and the ones that were like questionable, I I, I went and tested it, make sure that it's working. So all those guys are good. They're all listed on whatnot, on um, buy it nows and such, and I'm uh, still going through the process. Still a ton of games over there, uh, but for that that's that's it for this video for today. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. We got some fun stuff coming up, and that's it. Subscribe. See you later.